has three main principles uh, through which you know, we, can, we can put together the data mesh. Uh, the first one is uh, delivering the self-service infrastructure as a platform because um, any data platform, uh, even if it is modern data platform or a legacy, uh, we need to have some kind of platform to hold that data. Right. Once we have um, that, um, uh, once we hold the data, then we will be able to do some kind of analytics on top of that. Okay. But we need to provide that kind of platform. Uh, and if that platform is administratively free, yeah. then it becomes, uh, then it gives the flexibility for the users to focus on their core capabilities and rather than looking at the technical aspects of it. Uh, so Snowflake provides that uh, seamless self-service infrastructure where it is almost admin free, you can say. The second one is that delivering the domain-driven ownership uh, and data as a, as a product. Um, we started hearing this concept a lot, data as a product, uh, but before going there, uh, we need to have a data uh, in a certain shape and format. Yeah. We need to have that quality right. uh, and then uh, Snowflake provides something called Snow Grid, uh, which is like a data transformation service and we can, with this Snow Grid, we can make sure that data is at a certain quality mm -hmm. and can be distributed with other departments so that they can make them of it. Third one is, which is very important, uh, delivering the uh, federated governance. Um, now we all know that um, we have a lot of tools and technologies to churn the data you know, and, and do analytics on top of that. Uh, but putting the governance boundaries or policies uh, around the data is you know, equally important. Um, uh, before we, we, we you know, liberate that data to, to the others. Um, but in the, um, in the Snowflake, we have a uh, different set of tools and, tools and technologies, uh, but the main one is the Snowflake, uh, through which we can put the policies, boundaries around that data.